So around Auckland, our main problem is with expansive soils. That's already the soils that vary, uh, that shrink and swell between seasons. Uh, elsewhere in the country, we have liquefaction as a large issue, which during an earthquake, the ground turns to liquid. Uh, and there's a whole lot of different techniques that if your engineer and uh, your geotech and structural engineers are talking to each other and understand their language, because a geotech engineer has a different language to a structural engineer, you can get a far better solution. That makes a lot of sense. And we'll save a lot of time in going back, forth and forth and right. changing things uh, yeah. retrospective. Yeah. Okay, what about, uh, are there any, any other factors that uh, our clients should consider to manage their overall construction cost? Yes, definitely. Um, so keeping things simple. So often uh, both engineers and architects try to optimise everything to the nth degree. So for example, <clears throat> for an engineer it might be having lots of different wall types, different spacing Rio or lots of different foundation types to make it the least amount of reinforcing and concrete possible. Uh, what we've found from talking to a few of our clients that if you standardise that and have a minimal number of drawings and a minimal number of different details that goes architecturally and structurally, it's far easier for the builders to build, far easier for the engineers to check and far less mistakes on site. So that results in, even though there might be more concrete and steel and cladding, a cheaper, more efficient building because of those reasons. Thanks for that, Andrew. So are there anything else uh, a developer should be considering when they're looking at their next project uh, to keep things cost effective? Yes, for sure. Um, at the moment, there's a lot of new products starting to come into the market. The government's changed some of the legislation to enable more uh, products to come in overseas that don't necessarily comply with all the New Zealand standards, mm -hmm. which should start to uh, bring down the cost of building in New Zealand. There's also a whole lot of contractors bringing in new ground improvement techniques, which like I talked a second ago about the foundations can often blow out the cost of a project. So making sure you are talking to your engineers about what the new methods of ground improvement are to minimise foundation costs is really important. So I think in summary, uh, making sure you're aware of the new products and new technology and the way we build is really important. And I think you mentioned to me earlier about this concept of continuous improvement. What, what do you mean by that as far as uh